To make you lose Hello you, welcome to Geekism. Happy Flurms Day. It is Flurms Day, the 16th of April. For those who don't know, I saw people asking about Flurms Day in chat. Flurms Day is the day it is when you don't know what day it is. And at the moment, there's a lot of people who don't know what day it is. I think it's Thursday. Um, oh, it is Thursday, and I've just thought I need to send a, a message to somebody before I continue. So... Bear with me momentarily. Okay, so how are you all doing folks? Where are you listening from? Where are you watching from today? Let me know in the chat. I always like to check up every week or so, see where people are coming in from. Calgary, Illinois, bed, nice. <laughs> We're all UK, of course. I, thought, I was just about to say, oh, I know, I know, it's Andrew. Yeah, okay, yeah, he lives in Wirral. Uh, Southampton, Essex, Edmonton, Michigan, Buckinghamshire, in my bed. Oh, there we go, so lots of information there. Birmingham, Aidens from Birmingham, Alabama, howdy. There's another Birmingham there. They don't sound like that, though, over there, do they? In Alabama. Sound very different over there, don't they? That's more Dudley, to be honest. I'm doing more of a Dudley there, if I'm totally honest with you. Uh, Belgium, nice. Landing in bed from Florida. I hope you're staying well and safe. That was Black Country. I know, yes, I know. It's been my family from Black Country, so they all sound like that back home. Whenever I go home, they all sound like that. 
So they are, and they say I'm your voice. <laughs> you should know better. I know. Sorry, I don't. I don't do a, a specifically Birmingham. I just do like a very general Midlands. <laughs> I found Flora. Yes, I did. Should we go and meet Flora? So Flora's getting settled today. Um, did I want to do something in here, or did I just come into here to wait for the street to start? I think I just came into here to wait for the street to start. So. Flora is, um, she's just getting settled, alright, so she's, she's still new, she's still getting her boxes sorted, she's still, she's still in boxes, apparently that's a terminology they use in this game. Oh, we've got a character in boxes, who wants her? Nobody's taking Flora. Look at her lovely pink house. I think it's pink, I guess it's pink, she's pink, so. Um, it's the past two days. Who's Flora? Flora is this awesome flamingo. Well, she's actually an ostrich. The game, as far as the game is concerned, she's an ostrich. Um, but she's painted up to look like a flamingo. And she's perky and peppy and preppy, and she's awesome. That goes on the wall, and I'll put this beneath it. And wait, maybe this is more chic. Oh, I'm tired from the move, and my interior design skills are stray busted. Uh, hello. Are you eavesdropping on me? What? Talking to myself? I'm so embarrassed. Trying to bring the perfect world of Flora out of my brain and into my home. I think she's fantastic. Uh, I love the little pond floor. No, listen. Actually makes water messes as well, which is so good. Her house is a lot different in my island. So, it apparently, it depends on when you get them. If Flora is one of your first... If, like, the first two that t turn up have very generic houses. And then the later they get to the island, the more personal uh, houses they have. Now, I don't know if there's any truth to any of that. But as it stands, that's what it is. So, you will... Uh, oh, wow. There's some stuff available in here. All sisters is open. I haven't been in here today. At least the house isn't full of coffins. Well, there is that as well. I mean, that is... That is the... Uh, the sort of standard. Let's go talk to our mate first. Have you come by today? A new pattern fabric for you to try out. Thank you. I'm pretty sure she's giving me one of these every day. Like, that can't keep up. Thanks. Uh, let's go see what you've got for sale. Nothing jumping out at me, I don't think. But we'll go and have a look. Mm -mm -mm. you and feeding my three-month-old and typing. Wow, that is impressive. Uh, apron, fishing vest... Uh, collarless shirt. We, I think we bought a collarless shirt. The flashy jacket's pretty snazzy, isn't it? Oh, I kind of like that. Take one of those. Samurai suit. My goodness. Power suit. Oh, no. Which, which power helmet do we have? I think it's that one. Do the boots go with it? I'm assuming they're a power boot. I think I might have bought power boots, but they were the wrong colour. No, I don't know why I'm buying it. I'm never going to wear it. My little dress is cute. Uh, I am going to say, I'm going to take the denim cap. I'm going to take the power suit. I suppose that one's kind of Iron Man, isn't it? But I'm pretty sure the helmet we've got is goes with that one. Um, and I like, I think I like the flashy jacket as well. I might take one of those. Fish here I come. Yeah, CJ's on my island today as well, actually. We are great. I'll go ahead. Oh, God, did I say wear it? Okay, well, that's a fantastic outfit, isn't it? <laughs> Trying to make the red suit to go full Iron Man. Yeah, I had power boots. See, I could. I had to buy power boots from C from Flick. I don't know which of these I like. I think it's that one. I think I like that one. Uh, any more hats to buy? Catcher's mask is probably quite useful. What are these? Bubble gum. Oh, that's neat. Uh, I'll take Catcher's Mask. And we'll take some no-show socks. And we'll take some uh, uh, loafers. Yeah, take all of that. Yes, please. Uh, yeah, I want to wear that. I want to wear the most random outfit. <laughs> um, go ahead and skip what you were wearing before. So you at home. Thank you. Well, let's go and fix that first of all before we do anything else. <laughs> Uh, Zoana's birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday. Um, yeah, I think I had power boots from Flix, uh, from, um, from Kix. So, obviously there's only one colour that looks like a state of me. I look like a YouTuber. I don't know, have you noticed that? The YouTubers 
where the most random outfits in this game, like people who cover this channel, they put cover this game on their channel, they wear the most strangest clothes. Wait for flick, got a bunch of trousers waiting in my closet. I got a label for the first time yesterday. Awesome. I think we've had them all now. But I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. I think we've had everyone once. Uh, we've got a new plant, thank you. Somebody sent us a new plant through. Looks good in there. Should I change? I would like to get changed. Uh, yes, I would just like to get changed. It's not It's not a one thing, is it? Um, let's have a look. We've got quite a bit of stuff going on in here now, haven't we? But we want... Uh, I think it's that one, isn't it? Uh, oh no, it's nice, the green. We've got a few things. Frugal outfit's pretty neat. Paint overall. Oh, there's and a cyber suit. So where's power suit? Oh, there we go. Power helmet. Yeah. And power boots. Yeah. So we've got. We haven't got the right color power boots or pe so we can't do a complete mashup yet of that. Where's that new? Where's the new outfit I just bought? There it is. Power suit. So yeah, do you know what? I'm assuming there are gloves that go with it. I don't, you don't see gloves very often, do you? I do wear a crazy goes in game and in person. Yeah, well, that's cool. Log shelf is ten out of ten. I know it's fantastic, isn't it? Isn't it good? Okay, so anyway, let's let's get back to normal. Hey, come on now, let's get back to normal. None of this silliness. Uh, knee high. Um, no, there. Yes. Okay. What else? What else? What else? That hat. Uh, those shorts, those top, right, and our oh, specs, of course. Back ten armor. Okay. Hi, Mrs. Marcy, I'm well, thank you. Thanks for asking. Um, one of my visitors, yeah, one of my visitors was sad that somebody they didn't get to speak to somebody who visited yesterday. I thought it was really quite sweet. Uh, have I got anything that can go away while we're here? Uh, a writing chair and a retro stereo. That stereo can go away. Um, the writing chair, I think, is going to go here. Although it's still not quite the right colour. It's, it's better than the, yeah. It's it looks like a baby. It looks like a baby's food chair, doesn't it? Like a like a, where you sit a baby to eat. No, I think I prefer the school one actually. Although it's still not right. It needs to be quite a quite a nice regal chair there, really, for writing letters, as the explorer does. Are you quoting Sylvester Jester much in the confusion? Much of the confusion night no, says the chats. Yeah, sorry, I was. Hi, Tom. Yeah, I say back to normal like Sylvester Jester says it all the time. Nobody knows what I'm on about, but I just genuinely enjoy saying it. Back to normal. Yeah, and I say it's more than ninety nine percent as well. <laughs> Oh, wow, look at all of our stuff. Oh, my God, wow. People have been very generous today. Okay, cool. Uh, shiny new item. Thank you for my shiny new item, Nat. Uh, Nate, sorry. Lunacra. Uh, shiny new ball. Thank you. Uh, Lunacra. Shiny new pinball machine. Holy cow. Charlotte has sent me... Some countries call it a soccer ball. Thank you. Oh, um, I feel really bad now because we're not doing a soccer pitch anymore. <laughs> but, uh, but you'll like what I are doing, and we'll use the ball somewhere, probably. Um... Something to put along, put you along before the DIY recipes washes up on the shore or falls in the sky. Thank you, Jamie. Uh, Chloe, not sure if you have this or if it would look good in the bedroom. Oh, hi, Chloe. Thank you. Very good. Uh, finally, send you this for the park. Enjoy. Thank you, Raven. Uh, thought this would go nicely in your games room. Thank you, Raven. Jamie, me again. This could work in your pit. Okay, cool. Uh, Bilius, wall space in the kitchen. Thank you, Bilius. I see. For the games room. Wow, we've got loads of cool stuff here to go through. Truffles. You know, it's really, really hard to sell somebody to your, you feel. Face to face, I mean. So I decided to put my feelings in the letter. Okay, here goes. I'm happy you're my friend. Truffles. She's an absolute doll. I hate the fact that we were mean to truffles. I thought this might work uh, with the go boards. If you want to use it, I can send another for the other side. If not, that's fine too. For the go board? It's a go board. Something for you. Thank you from your lovely dragon. Thank you, Atlantis. Kinga. Uh, another one to the collection. Nice. OK. 
Okay, let's have a look at all of our lovely stuff. Truffles is absolutely adorable. Okay, let's open, open, open our presents. So we've got a ball. What sort of ball is it? Oh, it's like a proper soccer ball. Ace. And we've got another ball. Oh, that's a proper soccer ball. Awesome. We've got two balls to play with there. We, we will find a use for them, I'm sure. Uh, pinball machine. Is this one we haven't got yet? Let's have a look. I think it looks different to the one we've got. Oh, yeah, that's Ace. I don't think we've got that one. Nice. Um, another ball. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, sending me, <laughs> sending me all the balls. Um... Imperial fencing? Wow. Thank you. Until the DIY turns up. That's incredible. Thank you very much. Um, Tall Wars Baby Nerd. Oh, Baby Tiger. These things are so cute. Yes. I don't know where we can put that, but I love it. Maybe have it in the garden. A tricycle. Nice. I know what the tricycles look like. Dartboard. Awesome. Let's have a look. Uh, electronics kit? What's that? Oh, nice. That'll go cool in a study or something. Yeah, definitely. Uh, iron wall rack. Oh, that's for the... That's to go on the wall in the kitchen, right? Another dartboard? My goodness. Uh, a cushion? Oh, the go board! I know what we're talking about now. <laughs> yes, another one of those would be incredible. Thank you. Another ball. Thank you so much. Oh, and a present we have to open. <laughs> Uh, okay, open. A grass harping. Oh man, I I love them, but we've got we've got so many of them there. <laughs> I don't know if we can put any more up. Thank you though. I really appreciate the gifts. You're all very generous. What what I'll do is I'll I'll pass on stuff to um to other people if it's stuff we've already got. Currently have tons of bugs and fish outside my house because I can't donate any more today. Come on, blathers. You really can't talk them more. Fifteen today. No, that's it. You've got to let them sit there. That's what we had to do. You've just got to let them sit there. I tell you what then. Let's um. Let's put that in front of the writing desk for now. Again, it's still not, it's not perfect. It's not the kind of chair you would sit on to write at. But with this cushion, I think, will suit the... Um, where, where's it gone? This cushion will suit the go board a lot more, won't it? And one on the other side as well would be really good. Awesome. It's supposed to be burger and chips. I'd love a good burger, you know. I might have to make burgers. I haven't had a burger for weeks and weeks, and I, and I and I miss it. Right, so... Oh, first of all, that... That can go there now. Yes, there we go. Really starting to get somewhere with this now, aren't we? Look at this. Um, and then we've got something for the wall. Let's have a look. I still don't like that clock. That clock's probably going to come down. Uh, iron wall rack. Oh, cute! Yeah, that looks really good. Okay, smooth the clock. And a little. This can go up with the cooker. Although a cooker hood probably be the better thing for that there. That's really cute. I like that, and it fits the iron uh, theme a lot. I uh, don't think we had. You know what? Sod it. Let's um, let's put a grass copper. Let's just put these around because they they look good. It's the sort of thing you would have in his house. Doesn't have to just have that one room full of random crap, does he? You can put it all everywhere. Um, tricycle's got to go in the park. Again, we haven't redone the park yet. I uh, finally got my own ACNH. Using your code today, John T. First the villages are Shari and Billy. Oh, no, Shari's cute. I can't think who Billy is, though. Um, but, yeah, awesome. Thanks for using the code as well, Hannah. You'd be, that, that, those codes, Animal Crossing, people buying Animal Crossing off Instant Gaming, has really helped out this month. Uh, honestly, like, I, I only get, I get like about 80 cents or something from it, or like a dollar or something, max. Um, but that many people have done it this month, that it, it's really helped sort of uh, bump up the uh, cash coming in this month to help with bills and stuff. So I really do appreciate it. Thank you, all of you uh, have used it. Let's get, um, let's get a paper tiger on here. I think he'll look quite cute there. Haha, <laughs> yeah, he looks nice. Um, let's spin him around so we can see his head a little better. Don't want his bum bum. Don't want his bum bum sticking out. Yeah, look at him. He looks awesome. Because we still want the whole, like, you know, he's an explorer and has been around and found cool stuff. So I'm going to put all the balls in storage now until we can uh, think about what we're doing. That imperial fence can go in storage for now because we're not going to be using that just yet. We'll go and stick that upstairs. We'll put that in storage because we're not doing a playground today. Um, okay, so as you'll see from the title of this video, uh, what we're going to work on today... 
Um, it says Fantasy Island. So I had a little look around last night at what some people are doing with their islands, and um, I'm not I'm not really happy with where the with where the focus on our island is is going at the moment because I, I feel like all I'm doing is making areas based around some of the furniture I pick up and it and to me personally it's looking a little bit samey like we've got that cafe that I actually quite like and we'll probably leave but I've seen like four or five of those cafes now you know like four or five of people with a stall and an espresso machine and some iron furniture outside like like and I've seen a few people with soccer pitches because you can get a soccer net pretty easily I'm thinking, no, do you know what? This isn't good enough, right? Geekism is all about being creative, being a little bit different, maybe, you know, trying trying different things, trying to really push the creativity of the game forward. And I thought, do you know what? I love the idea of this little explorer. Um, and I love the fact that his house is full of intricate things and he's like, you know, jungle and all that. Why isn't that being represented in the island, right? And that's how I kind of feel about it. So I've decided what I'm going to do is begin now a process of redesigning the island so that it has more of a exploratory fantasy feel to it okay so it's going to come a couple of different ways uh, so first of all for instance one of my one of my initial ideas is we've got this space over here it's a relatively empty space right now that just has a couple of houses in. Um, what I want to try and do is make it almost like it's like a Zelda map or something, right? So we've got a cow and a pig currently. We've got Norma and Truffles, and I'm quite happy with both of them to keep them. So I thought, how about the cow and the pig live in a farm area? Right, so we, there's a silo we can get, we've got a scarecrow, we can put rows of plants and rows of uh, things like that. Um, and keep it and keep this as like the farm area right and then we can move on from the farm to over over here which can be um like a like a docks like a dockland area and we can have like barrels and crates and stuff um like people coming in off the off the airport onto the docks right and then we keep this as our town hall and we don't do major changes here because i'm quite happy how some of it works but we we've got the shop and we've got the town hall and we make it like a bazaar you know and we get loads of stalls and pots and rugs and all that sort of stuff make it look like a like a, like almost like an arabian bazaar or something okay and i'm getting really passionate thinking about this and i really feel like i'm, I'm not just going yeah okay we've got pool stuff let's do a pool stuff uh, i like the idea of having a pool here and we do need a pond at some point because there are fish um, there are fish like you know that need ponds, but rather than it looking like a little swimming pool, why don't we make it like a like a Turkish bath, you know, with waterfalls coming down and tiles and everything everywhere, you know? Okay, and then we're coming up. Let's, I'm so excited about that. I, was, I basically woke up at like two in the morning with this idea, and I'm like, yeah, let's go for it. And the Knox, he's still here. He's going to be the keeper of the village. So we're going to this is how we exit the village, okay? And he's going to be there. We're going to have some statues and make it really look sort of. Uh, like like he's he's the gatekeeper and then this area here is going to be uh, like a huge watery area with waterfalls and we're going to move some of our watery animals up here so flora is going to come and live up here okay so i've already started doing a little bit of terraforming but this is the area we're going to work on today okay and i'm going to place flora up here and then we're going to have a big like thin but tall uh, uh, mountain that has waterfalls trickling all down it we have loads of plants and we'll maybe get some qr codes for for plants on the ground okay and that's it we're going to come on let's forget about all the like, like okay so we've got soccer pitches let's put soccer pitches down we've got a godzilla so let's put a godzilla down let's actually think about this as geekism right because that's what we do here we really push for like creativity and, and cool looking stuff okay so um so yeah anyway i'm psyched about it and i want to get started on it um so i'm going to ask for a favor from people watching if you visited the islands okay um if you visited the island and you can send flowers, can you please send me a bag of seeds? And if you need the money back, I can send you the money back. Or if you need something back in return. Um, but I, de I need to up the seeds because this area here, like some of the areas we've already done and I think could totally work. Like I think the museum is fine and the outdoor part of the museum can totally work. So that's not a problem. But then this area, I want this to be a big like meadow uh, with loads of trees and loads of flowers. I'm going to forget the idea about having the minimum number of trees because it's boring, okay? Uh, but I want this all full and like we're going to have like stepping stones going through it and stuff, okay? So seeds, I have uh, tulips and um, pansies and lilies. So 
any other stuff. <laughs> Please, that'd be good. And like I said, just a little bag of them, because I'm not. I, they can spread around on their own, so you can go crazy. But it's like 10 seeds or something like that. Uh, if you don't mind, I would really appreciate it. Thank you. And we can get lots of flowers in there, because at the moment, we still only have a two-star island, um, which is pretty poor. So, yeah, we need, to, we need to really up our game there. So, uh, first things first, I need to head over here and get a proper axe, because I need to cut down a tree there. And then this area, I think what we'll do is we'll move these flowers down to the farm. And, and that kind of explains why they're fenced off. So that's all right. Um, but then here, I've moved the campsite up to here. And we're going to have like a woodland campsite with a log fire and stuff. Uh, and then the area where the campsite is will turn into like a fishing area, fishing port. Um, and then here, I still want to do my uh, lantern walk. I think that'll look pretty cool. Um, and otherwise this area is fine. Um, and then again, this, this area over here is fine as well. We can just have like a nice woodland walk here. And then there's some space for expansion if, you know, the other buildings prop up or whatever. And then we're still going to have our, um, uh, uh, this thing. The, the, this. Oh, and I got some incense as well, which I thought sat really nice in front of that. So, and we've still got work to do up here as well. But yeah, loads to do. Really invigorated by this idea of creating like a fantasy island. I think it looked awesome. Like a proper sort of RPG style island, you know? So, anyway, I hope you're behind it. I hope you're into it. Uh, it's a little bit away from like the realism because the problem is I normally go for realism in these games, you know? But that's kind of what everyone's doing right now. Everyone's building a pool and a playground and a cafe and i'm like well let's try and do something a bit different so so that's the idea i'm thinking we go for like a, a sort of fantasy island yeah and the mammoth does have a head now yes it's no longer just a, a horrible mammoth spider hybrid yes so we need a proper axe i've just got one tree to cut down that's all um uh, we don't have a wand on us. Okay, I'll take that as well. I've got some single bag of white tulips there. Somebody left an acorn. I'm assuming they're either from the Southern Hemisphere or they time travel, but I've thrown it in there until we can actually get acorns. I'm not interested in uh, doing anything with that just yet. I don't know whether you can plant trees with them or what. Um, and then we've got all these fences. There's a single fossil there. That's weird. I'll take that out. And we've got that awesome imperial fence now. It's gorgeous. We'll definitely be using that a lot, I think. I hope I get the recipe for that soon. In fact, we might have had the recipe idea today. Uh, I haven't looked. I saw a natural forest theme island on Reddit. And I really want my eyes to look like it. Yeah, I saw one that had loads of trees. And I was like, God, this looks so much better than, you know. And if all we lose out is a couple of items of furniture. Like today's furniture was a grasshopper head and uh, a tea set, of which I've got about six of both now. And I'm like, Ugh, okay, whatevs. Stand out from the others. Yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to sort of stand out necessarily. I just, I feel like I owe it to myself and to my viewers to do something cool and different, right? So this was a money tree, but it's now, uh, it's now gone. So we can chop that down and get rid of it. Uh, these other four are our money trees. So I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with them yet. Um, but yeah... We're going to have to jump into our water, really, and get started on that. So, uh, okay, let's let's just get some layout done, and then we'll start making it look nice. Okay. Oops. There we go. So, let's do cliff construction first and think about this. So, what I'm thinking is, like, from here... We go up, all right, and then this comes up to about probably like here is fine. What I, all I want to do, want to make sure I've got space for flo for f um, for flora. So maybe that maybe that's a little too far out. Maybe maybe one in is the edge there. Okay, so all of this is high up, and then and then maybe here as well. I think we might have to move our money trees, unfortunately. Um, no, is that is that going to be too big to dig up that one? Yeah. Okay. So we need to eat something. Um, unfortunately, all of the fruits I've been getting, I've been replanting. So we've got trees. Um, just pay bells to do the construction on the app. No, you get the construction app. You get paths first of all. Then no, it's Nook Miles. You need you need to you need to do use Nook Miles to buy the options. Not seen since the early stages of Pinewood Hills. No, I no, that's not fair. 
Planet Zoo, we did some cool stuff in. Thank you, Wildfires and Hyacinths. Thank you so much, Nathan. Uh, check out Honey Crossing on Twitter. Her island is beautiful and more natural. I will do. Yeah, thank you. Can you could you do me a favor and throw that in the Discord? So because it'll remind me afterwards. Because I won't remember otherwise. Now I think just this one from Fruit. This is not. This is not what we need. This is not what we need right now. And I love this as well. This more natural sort of way of getting across. Obviously, try not to go that way often because. I was just like throwing some stuff around these log benches and stuff. I just, I think, I think the sort of natural look of things is is the way to go. And get rid of things like lawn mowers, you know, but give people like wash wash buckets and barrels and you know what I mean. Like go that go that way with it. I think it'd be a lot more fun and a lot more interesting to look at. Thank you. Are these flower seeds? God, they come through quick, don't they? Uh, Jesus. All right. I'll, I'll do them in a minute. Thank you, folks. I forget we've got so many people watching sometimes. <laughs> Thank you for the thing, things. Yeah, uh, I have access to buy the DIY for Imperial Fence. Want me to send it over? If you don't mind, yeah, that'd be great. I don't know how you how you're buying it. If you need if you need cash for it, let me know. Um, but that'd be really handy. Yeah, because I feel like we're going to use that quite a lot actually. Um. I'm going to put all this stuff away just for now. I, we are going to use it downstairs. I still kind of like the idea of downstairs being like a proper retro 80s uh, arcade, like just completely randomly. But uh, but yeah, so for now, I'm going to I'm going to hold off on that. I've got a couple of flowers to plant. Um, they need selling, so I'll keep that on me. I'll forget to sell them. Put in storage. Uh, okay, so shovel is hardwood and iron, I think. Hardwood and iron. Uh, yes, please, please now stop sending seeds. <laughs> what is it, Ringo? I'm warning you with peace and love. <laughs> A couple, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I'm happy with the house overall. Like I think the house could maybe shift slightly towards fantasy a little bit, but I'm kind of happy with how the house is turning out, so I'm no worries there. I just think we could we could do so much more with the with the island that we're not doing. And the mile shop uh, had it offered again. Oh, of course, I, I forget that it's a fence recipe. Yeah, if you don't mind. Well, actually, hold on because I, oh, it's done. Okay, thanks. I was gonna say hold on because we might have it here, but thank you. <laughs> um, that saves me some nook miles for when we're looking for people anyway. So if you don't mind, that's I really appreciate that. Thank you. So many for my ID, ID island, but I need the bamboo islands. Yeah, see, do you know what? The bamboo island is the most commonly spawnable island, which is pretty insane to think. Um, the thing is, there's only one of them at 10% chance of spawning, and there are four or five basic islands with 9% chance of spawning that are basically the same island, just in different layouts. So that's why it makes the Bamboo Island seem rare. But actually, on its own, Bamboo Island is one of the is the most uh, chanceable spawning island, which is pretty pretty insane. Uh, okay, cool. Planting the flowers, you need to wear your farmer's outfit. Of course, Maddie. Of course. Hey CJ, move. He wants me to catch three little fish, but I've got a feeling I'm not going to have time to do that today. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I have to use those. We don't have to use those stepping stones now. Let's just come around this way. Okay, so. The only thing I'm thinking is maybe like we do a back garden for Nox with a fence around it and he can be like the keeper of the, the money trees or something. I don't know, that could be quite neat, couldn't it? Uh, like just, just, just here, like have a little patch with money trees in. I don't know. I'll think about that. Oh. Uh, so let's see how this turns out. Yeah, meet people. Sorry, no one sent you seeds. <laughs> Funny, aren't you? How'd you do that? <laughs> Move, Nox. Move, Nox. Nox. Thing is, I know that winds them up doing it, so I don't want to do it too much, but. <laughs> By the Nintendo app. Oh, that's weird. Not 
sure, I'm not sure I like you just being able to chat away on the stream, Andrew. God, that's... M Melissa? Like, I didn't even think of that. But you are totally right. It's Fort Knox. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Fiona's going to go there. We don't leave it too, too little space. Now can I I wanna make that one big there. Now, this is this is one thing I haven't quite figured out with, with water yet. Like, can I have water go right up to a cliff? I'm not sure I can. That's run off um uh, for my interview. They called me earlier, say so I have a Skype interview tomorrow at five now. They said I'm exactly what they need, and they seem to like me. Fingers crossed. Awesome. Uh, best of luck for you, Chloe. Hope it goes well. go up to the you can have water go up to the cliff right but like not so not but there's a there's a little gap there so is that the best we can do is that what we're saying I mean that's going to be a waterfall anyway so I'm not too worried about that but are we building Nox of Fortress no we're building a um, uh, we're building like a fantasy water style uh, area um I don't know where I was supposed to explain it, really. I decided that I want the island to look more fantasy and natural and fun. Um, and full of intrigue and, and uh, all things like that. Uh, does money trees regrow money bags after you've harvested? No. No. No, unfortunately not. Once it's done, you can. it's just a regular old tree. Burgers and chips were delicious. Oh, awesome. I'm going to make burgers, I think. That's the best it gets. That's fine. As long as, as, long as we know what we're, we're dealing with. What I'm going to do, I think, is do is do all the building first, the actual structures first, and then we'll put the water in after the facts, right? Big room. I'll get sleep and watch Animal Crossing. I know, right? I mean, I, I don't know. My work is playing Animal Crossing, so... <laughs> I um, We're looking at a new... Uh, uh, we're looking at moving. And, um... Soon. And I had to explain to a guy on the phone today what I did for a living. That's that's always a fun thing to have to do. Uh, I think we're going to have a little waterfall there that, that, that goes into the moat. Um, it's like, yeah, so what's, you know, what's, where's your, where are you earning your money from? It's like, well, you know, I do a little bit of agriculture, a little bit of landscaping. <laughs> <laughs> you know, buy buy and sell uh, furniture. <laughs> I play the stock market sometimes. 
Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I care, I care for exotic animals. <laughs> what else have we got? Let's have a think. What else can we say I do for a job? <laughs> uh, a lot of travel is involved. Um... <laughs> and tourist court. Yeah, that's it. I work. In, I work with tourism. <laughs> Fishermen. <laughs> <laughs> City planner, yeah, I do all sorts. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> okay. All right, so there's level one, I think. I think we're going to be happy with that. Okay, so we have waterfall there, waterfall there, and a little waterfall there. Okay, so let's jump up then. Um, pay debt to the devil. <laughs> Project manager. That's quite a good encompassing one, yeah. <laughs> Songwriter, yeah, good. <laughs> Flag designer, uh, you, do you mean a vexilolo vexillologist? Right, so we can go up again there, right? Can we? Can we not? Because we have to go in one. Oh, okay, we have to go in one. That's fine, I think. And that's the highest we can go and, and build water off of anyway, I'm pretty sure, so. Yeah, with the esoteric votab. Well, that's just the word, isn't it? Vexillologist. Oh, is that just somebody who's interested in flags? It might just be somebody who likes flags. It's all about the flagging flags, you know. Yeah, so you can't. So you've got to build one in, which means I don't think we're going to be able to go higher than this. But like I say, I think I think higher than this you can't do a waterfall anyway. Animal Crossing. Well, yeah. Well, Animal Crossing is a Dr. Do little simulator anyway, isn't it? Isn't that, isn't that true? These are all going on my CV. <laughs> More occupations than Barbie, yeah. Yeah, she gets about as well. Okay, so we'll take that off. Take that off. Oops. Go, take. Maybe not take that one off. Come on, in the back. Being into flagging sounds just, it does a little, doesn't it? Yeah. Flagging. Is that like dogging? Wow. Wow. Okay. So I feel like this is a bit thin here, and we and we can go further at the back of the of the lower level. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to come off here, come up the back here, and uh, and fill this in. Beekeeper, yeah. A oh, go on. I know the word for beekeeper. That's a good one. I only know these because they come up in quiz, pub quizzes a lot, pub trivia nights. Beekeeper is a. No. You gotta tell me out in the chat if you know it, folks. What's the word for a beekeeper? It's a good one. I'm guessing we can do one more there. Apiarist, that's the one, thank you. Good job. Good job. A cliff could collapse. Shut up. I made that one smooth. There we go. That's all I was trying to do. Jeez. Jeez. Should be wearing your work outfit. You're right. We should. I always forget to change my outfits. Why? You need. You, you folks need to tell me more often. Oh, we've got. We've got an outfit for this. Safety first. Yes. Got those shades. Um. They poop with a bit. They poop a lot. And they do a they do that um thing where they spin the tail around to fly their poop everywhere as well. I don't know why that one button is on a separate thing to all the others. 
Okay, so here we go. We can just, yeah, this is this is what we want. We can just fill this out a little bit. It's going to help us play around with water. And like I said, I don't, I don't feel like we can go higher than this for water. Mustachio, he's a mustachioed uh, legend, yes. I'm completely messing this up. So I'm guessing that's it. So we carve that one down. Oops. Carve that one down. And we'll have a go at putting that one up higher, but I'm pretty sure that's it. I press every single button before I remember that plus is the one I need for this. So I think we can go one higher. But I'm pretty sure I can't climb up here now, right? This is this is it. Yeah, yeah. So there's there's no real need of having that one there, I don't think. It could look a bit silly, because we're not going to be able to put any other square in. It's literally that one square, that height. So we'll take that away. Seems like I need to feed in my guests to the crocodiles, because I found the animation highly amusing. Well, you're just sick. Uh, okay. It's just a short now. I know what you meant. I know exactly what you meant. So what can we make into water here, then? There we go. That one. Now, I'm going to guess that one can't be water. Okay. So, let's see. Water, water. Oh, we're going to get, so we're gonna get really stuck up here, aren't we? Um, water, water. So, let's make that, that, that there water. That can't be water. Can, it, can you not make an end piece water? So that is it then. That That's where the water's going. That's where the water's coming from at that level. Okay. Um, that's literally going to be it, isn't it? Oh no, that can be water as well. Oh no, I don't like that though. Down the back, that's no good. No good. Um, so we'll have one sp spring there. I suppose the way to think about this is that not you're not gonna be able to see that much of this once we're all done with it and and once we're down down this level you know not gonna ruin anything you can always put it back again natasha remember cross dresser with climb guys i'm not sure that's a job that's part of my job though that's you know they never asked me what my hobbies were <laughs> um okay so this this now leads more water on it that's gonna be the idea isn't it is that we get Played for like 8 till 9.30 and it was going on for almost the entire time. What was that, sorry? Crazy Meteor Shower. Oh, awesome. I don't, I don't think I've actually collared one yet. I don't play at night much. That's that's my problem. So I'm hoping... Come on. Come on. I want to make all of this... I want to make this a river. Right, they, these should be fine to be water. Right, okay. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Tom, what, financial management structures. He, Tom Nook has very generous financial management structures. He, uh, he has a uh, zero fixed term, uh, low interest loan, basically. It's very, very, very good. No, so not, none of this can be water, is what he's telling me. No, that can be water there. What about that one? <sighs> come on, come on. Uh. Hi, how are you? I'm well, thank you. I am new. No. Okay, you press spacebar instead of enter if you like. Um, <laughs> that'd be fine. You can see Charles gives you money and you can pay that. Well, he doesn't. His 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 little pals do. Water can't be on a walk. So 
I want that to be a full square. Right, that's what I want. I'm thinking if that's a full square... Uh, it's worth the cost. It's worth the cost if you en if you enjoy it. And like, I, I think it's a really difficult question to answer because I think it's a little marmite at Animal Crossing. You're either like really into it or it's not your game. You know. What's the end goal for this area? Just for it to look good. Honestly, it's as simple as that. I just I want it to look good. Okay. I think I may be onto something here. As long as I can get down. <laughs> That's the next the next challenge. Terraforming along with you. Are you having better luck than I am? <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's what I was, I was kind of going for that islandy look. That's that's kind of what I wanted. I No, you're not gonna let me go over there. Okay, 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 okay. So the thing it doesn't look like I can do The thing it doesn't look like I can do is put a piece there. Yeah. So you can't have a like a like a waterfall can't go into more water, right? It's so frustrating. Yeah, right? Because I want I want a waterfall here as well, you see. Railing at the set of the game. I'm sorry. Right, because I won't want to hear that, but the idea is that it all sort of joins up from the same one originally, you know? That's it's meant to be the idea behind it. Okay, okay. We can we can maybe wait this work. We can get it. As long as they're as long as they're going right to the top, I think we're probably okay. Let's fill that in. Right, okay. Let's take that over there. No. Yes. Okay. We're going to try and get up there. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Will you play some rocks, maybe? Seems like there's only one spring. Yeah, we, I mean, obviously we're gonna have to fill this in with plants and stuff. The problem is you're not gonna be able to put any flowers here because um, uh, we're not gonna be able to put any trees here because there's not enough space for them. Right, cliff permit. That one there. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think we're nearly there, ladder. That's a ladder up there. More practical, yeah. I and mean, it's the first time they've tried this kind of thing with these with this series, right? So, yeah, no. Whatever, whatever. Animal Crossing Two on the on the Switch looks like. I think we'll see some really awesome stuff. But yeah, this uh, the grid system is chunky and clunky, man. You can put rocks. Well, there's there are rocks you can make, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there there are uh, there are rocks you can make. I try and make it look natural, alpine. Uh, I, I I would, yeah, maybe place right place. Yeah, alpine trees. I will try and get some trees up here, but I, I think you're going to struggle to get trees up here, unfortunately. So, right now that should be able to be done there, and then that should be able to be a waterfall as well, and then this one. No, no. Okay, all right. So we're onto it here now. Right, we're on to it here now. This 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 piece here needs to be wall as well. Right, and then we shave that off. Okay, cool. Right, and then we come up. 
place bridge between lands. Yeah, two raised bits with the valley would be fantastic. That would definitely be something I would like to see in the in the in the future. Yeah, because I, I don't think we'll see it here. Nintendo aren't really ones for editing stuff. Right. Okay. Okay. I think those first two, those top two layers are done now. So let's come down. I'm going wild. Yeah, we haven't really. This is the first time. Yeah. So I, that looks really good. Right to me. That looks really good, and like, and you very, and you never really see that top either. So you just come up here, and you just see these awesome waterfalls, right? So I'm, I'm happy with how that's turned out. Cool, and also with some rocks and trees and stuff up there, you know, plants and flowers and stuff. I think that'll look really good. So, so next up, then I'm going to take uh, this down to here. So it joins up with his moat. Can you jump over two? Oh, I think you can't jump over two, so. You can jump over two, awesome. So we'll leave two there. Uh, we'll just curve that off a little. Oh, no, nope. not there, no. Nope. There we go. That's that done. So we can get over here if we need to. That's fine. Um, okay. So otherwise, then we need to start putting this bottom layer out now. So that's got to come to there at least. Um, that's probably enough. And then this really should probably be more more open. Um, and I think what I might do is even open this up. And have another stepping stone. Yeah. Carve that one down there. Okay, so there's a get across here, you've really got to sort of hop. 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 And then we're into the next area then. So and we're gonna we'll squeeze her house in here. And this'll probably get shaved down a little to help that. Um, well, maybe not with that. We might have to move that as well. Oh, it's going to be a long process, this, isn't it? Okay, so. All right, let's uh, just jump to that for a second. There we go. Okay, cool. Right then, so there are there are spots where a tree would work. So let's try and think about where we could put a couple of trees here. Just joined. What's happening? We don't honestly know. <laughs> no, we're, we're doing um, we're doing some pretty crazy changes on it. I'm pretty sure a tree will go there, and the, and be okay with its life. All right. And I'm pretty sure, I mean, here we could probably can get a couple of trees in here. That wouldn't be a problem. Not there. Um, at least another two weeks. Uh, yeah, and the rest probably. So two trees could go there. Now, we could probably get one in here if we're, if we're clever with this construction. So there's no reason why this can't come up here, right? don't think that next one will. Oh, yeah, it will. Okay, so if we do that and then take that one down there. Okay. And then bring this out. Um, okay. Make that like that. And then one more here. Corner that off. We get a couple of trees up here now, I think. One on the beach. We can put trees on the beach, yeah, and that's no problem. Thinking more like how do we how do we fit trees into this to kind of take the harsh lines off it a little bit? Because that's what that's what's going to be important here is getting rid of that. Yeah, we can get a tree in there. That's that's the only spot we can get a tree in, but we can get a tree in there. Um. Okay. Has it taken over? It's certainly taken over my life. Yeah, I was a Planet Zoo channel this time last month. <laughs> that's a joke. I wasn't. I've been about you several months. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's most definitely taken over my life. So, and then maybe a tree. No. 
There we can get one. Okay. And that's pretty much it. I'm, I, don't, I really don't think we're going to get any more up there. So that's going to have to be flowers and rocks and stuff. Waterfalls look amazing. Yeah, I'm really happy with how they've turned out. So how many trees did we say we needed? Um, that's not going to work there anymore. So it's a bit annoying that they, they're going to line up. I don't really like that. So let's put one there. So one, two, three, four trees. And they're going to be uh, cedar saplings. Hey, Benny. Um, so have we got any? I want some coconuts. Oh, God. They're going to be cedar. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up four cedar that are already grown so we can really see how this is going to look and I'll, re and I'll replant cedar saplings over the other side of the island where we're not really working so much at the moment. So there's the four of those. I'll jump in here. Um, maybe he buried him. Who, who have we not seen? I hope Nox is okay since she moved him out of the way. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's under there somewhere. Just like one empty square under there. He's like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a urinal today. What's the other thing that I bought? Oh, it was that writing chair that still looks crap. So we'll do cedar saplings. I, th I think, yeah, making this look a little bit alpine is going to be the way to go, I think. Pansies. I like how pansies look, yeah. I like all of them, though. I like a big mix of all of them, I think, is the best way to go, honestly. I want to try and get a good couple of these set pieces done because I want to do a, a month a month in video. Like once the once Nook's cranny updates, I want to do like a, an island tour one month in. I love it. I feel like I should get like an instrument. I've just realized we've got new letters. Uh, oh, awesome. Look at this. Welcome, Flora. Ah, uh, from Zawana. Enjoy the cacao tree. I did. Thank you, Billy. It looks great in the bedroom. Uh, let's play hide and seek. I've uh, hidden a squirrel snack on your island. Oh, there we go, Jamie. I found it. That's awesome. <laughs> I just found it randomly. <laughs> I didn't even see this letter. <laughs> I have kept the acorn. Thank you, Jamie. That's a great idea. Uh, thanks for streaming. Stay safe. You too, Chloe. Thank you. Thanks for keeping us saying uh, I like that with the dots on it. Thanks, Jamie. Hey. <laughs> awesome. I love my little letters on there. I feel like I should go and get a guitar. <laughs> oh. There's Nox. Safe and sound. It's almost all my favorite villagers, yeah. Oh, look at Benny using that thing. I love it when they use the furniture. They should totally do it more often. Uh, okay, let's head up the hills. leave it out on the beach <laughs> for ease of use <laughs> okay we'll take the ones from up here because I, I doubt we're going to be up here very much in the coming days do, do. here we go Right, let's eat some coconuts. I shot a tambourine out of the sky the other day and I've been having way too much fun with it. It's great, isn't it? I've got a couple of tambourines. Just sit them on the floor and just smack them. We've got loads of interest in that to us. We just uh, haven't got uh, anywhere to do with them. This, these are the Pinewood Hills, yes. Can't wait to get some signage in the game so we can start naming places. Okay. Somewhere we can dig up 
dig up the plants here. I just wonder if you've seen some credit from my instant gaming purchase of Two Point Hospital. Uh, very probably, Teddy. If you if you really want to have a look, I can do. Uh, let's have a look. When did you when did you buy it, my friends? And I'll tell you. Drum roll, please. Let's have a look. Uh, 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 uh. Did you buy it yesterday? Start yesterday, Teddy. Thanks to your incredibly generous use of my affiliate code, you made me thirty-three pence, and for that I am eternally grateful. Thank you so much, Teddy. Yes, it has gone through. There was a two-bot hospital sold yesterday, so enjoy it. It's a great game. Uh, it was a Switch or PC. Um, yeah, awesome game. Two point. We had a lot of fun with two point. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Uh, that's like one Freddo. Freddo's a 10p, aren't they? Am I showing my age now? This is the last time I bought a Freddo, it's 10p. Ba -ba -ba. 20p? I've been 10p for ages. Like I say, I have not bought a Freddo for a long time, and I'm pretty sure they're not available here anyway. All three free friends incredible. It's on PC. Yeah, like it's not. They all add up, right? It's great. And, and, and the best thing about instant game is you get it cheap, really. And that's the main thing, isn't it? Um, so yeah, I'm glad. Uh, yeah, enjoy it. And have fun with it. Okay. Now, is it going to stick it in that hole? Don't clip that. There's no place. Oh no, that's that throws a spanner in the works. Unless it's it doesn't like the hole. That really doesn't doesn't help us, because that's where a tree has got to go. There's no place to plant it. Why is that? Thought there should be no problem putting a tree there. Right. So I mean that really scuppers us because that means I don't think we're going to get any in the spots we picked. And I'm I'm, I'm going to say ain't, one ain't going there. No. Uh, okay. So we can we can bring it down here. One. I've got no problem with one going there, I think. Right. It's that it's gotta be two away from the waterfalls, which is inconvenient. But I like I like that that it almost sits in front of that one waterfall there, you know, it's like it's it gives a bit of depth. It gives us a bit of depth which I think is good. That should be fine. Yeah. But this one I think we're going to struggle. I think it's going to be too close to that. But there's maybe something we can do. We can maybe get up here and just shave a little off there, I think. Which I think would be acceptable. Try from that angle instead sometimes. It, no, I, I think it's it's got to be too away from a cliff. That seems to be the problem. Oh, no. Oh, I'm on the wrong level. That's why. You've got to remember because you've got to be you've got to be on top of where you want to put water. <laughs> um, but you've got to be on the on the level underneath where you're building. It's a bit complicated. Uh, can, can we just hop over things? I don't believe so. No, but yeah, I mean, all of this area is accessible from the beach, so I'm not I'm not too worried about that to be honest. Okay, so if we do. Mm, I'd rather not take that much. It might have to. Let's put the tree in and see. Oh. So if it's the shovel, it tells you it's the shovel. Right. Do 
doesn't have to be two way. It's because the diagonal loss will act as a full block. Right, okay. That makes sense. That's fine. So we should be able to put one here then. Right, okay. And one here. And then angle that one. Okay. Yeah, looks good to me. Let's have a look. Yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? Some trees there. All right, neat. No pages for the terrible. So yeah, it ain't it ain't fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it ain't fantastic. It takes a, a good while to really figure out what you want to do with it. Right, so let's um, let's go and get some of those crazy flowers that everyone sent us. Are they still going? I'm gonna go and grab an instrument. I'm going to go grab an instrument, I'm going to put my snazzy clothes on, and I'm going to get a video of me playing instruments while they're all stood there playing music. I bet if I go indoors it'll stop it, won't it? Really sucks. But I'm going to try. I'm going to stream my Switch. Yeah. Anyone know if Harv's Island is a part of the storyline? No, not really. It's just a random island you open up. It just helps you... Um, uh... Uh, it means you can take photographs there. So got to, what do we do? Drum kit? Or do we go and grab something from downstairs? Because we can't put a drum kit down, right? It's got to be something we can hold. Let's take a tambourine. There we go. It's pretty much useless. Well, I, there's been people making incredible photos on Reddit with it. Um, but if that's not something you're interested in, then no, it, I, I've never been back. But there's some really, there's some really funny memes on Reddit that people have made using Rowan, uh, using the, his islands. Uh, let's um, let's put some snazzy clothes on. Snazzy. Oh, and uh, let's get rid of our hat. <laughs> that's not a snazzy hat, mate. Look like we're a YMCA tribute acts at the moment. There you go. That's a snazzy hat. Where's my tambourine? Oh, I hope they're still going. <laughs> I'd be so disappointed. Just wait, girls. I'm back. I'm back. Oh, it doesn't sound like they're still going. Oh, they are. Yeah. Oh, and Sherb. Sorry. I thought it was all girls. Big finish. Yay, beautiful. All right, you carry on. <laughs> I've got things to do. <laughs> Put a radio with your song, they will sing it. They will, yes, I've seen that, yeah. I've seen one, um, they put KK Rock down and it was like insane them singing. Let's see if we can do it. I've got to see, I know this is so silly, but actually I might, I think we've got a radio in storage without having to pick up one of our own. Let's do, let's see this. Cause they, there's like a bit in KK Rock that's like, and they sit there and go, <laughs> like proper spit flame. <laughs> let's have a look. Have we got these big ones or if we've got like a little one we can take down? No. Okay. So we'll take. We'll take this high-end stereo. Let's go see. <laughs> this is the content I live for. Yeah, this is what geekism is about right now. <laughs> Sue School, carefully written scripted episodes that take two weeks to make. No, smashing a tambourine in Animal Crossing. <laughs> okay, here we go. Are they still going? Yes. Right, let's put that down. Okay, so we put KK Rock on. Check this out. Oh, 
Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not ready to wrap things up. Not forever am I ready to wrap things up. Oh, this is already. Come on, where's that? Are you joining in, Netanox? You taking lead? KK Metal is a crazy one. Oh, I haven't got KK Metal. It's KK Metal is one where they're like... <laughs> it's I haven't got KK Metal, I don't think. Uh... L M. I've only got Marathon or Malonga. <laughs> I haven't got it. My, my KK Metal is the one you need. I can send you KK Metal right now. Go ahead, Nicole. I'll send it you back if you haven't got two copies. <laughs> Malonga is funny. Let's try Malonga. Rocking. Mox has a monobrow like me. Is it a monobrow? I think it's. Isn't it the? It's his helmet. I think. <laughs> hey, so he came on today. Awesome. Just looks up KK Metal. It's the best thing. Ever. Honestly, it's insane. What is David's problem? Uh, just yeah. I don't know. Who knows? I'm obviously not a noob. I'm getting three of my Animal Crossing characters to sing along to a rock song while I play tambourine in a top hat. What the hell's noobish about that? Seeds, thank you. I'm going to open seeds in a minute. I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for metal to come through. <laughs> I'm going to cover my islands in radios now. It's on its way. Thank you, Nicole. Is, it, uh, is stuff instant or...? I don't, know if it's, I don't think stuff's instant, is it? We'll give it a couple of minutes. I really want you to hear it though, because it's the, it's the funniest thing I've seen, like in ever. I hope they don't all wander off. Keep it up. Come on, keep it up. Ah. Oh. Go back to the mailbox. I will. Like I say, I don't know how instant it is that comes through. It must be pretty instant because all those seeds come through within like seconds of uh, asking. I have a Zoom meeting in a couple of minutes. So I don't want to leave the stream. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. Do you need, do you need it back? I, I, I'm more than happy to send it you back if you need it. Okay. Here we go. No, girls. I've got some and and there, uh, Sherb. You can't register. You don't have any songs you can register. Oh, is it still in a? It's still in the parcel. I bet. I'm getting all excited. I haven't even opened it up. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. KK Metal. Right. Hold on. Right, here we go. KK Metal. They're absolutely spitting fire. <laughs> Truffles, Deidre and Sherb. Oh, that's made my day. <laughs> 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 oh, 
<laughs> they can't even keep up. Right. They're going to keep going. <laughs> I've got it in the reds now. That's what happens though, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, DJ's had a lot. I've worn DJ out. Oh no, DJ's back. <laughs> Pig looks mad. That's Truffles, and she's incredible. So shut your mouth. <laughs> oh, my words. That's made my day. Uh, all right, back to work. Anyway, well, we're, we're crafting here. Actually, I think we're I think we're done with. Um... Oh, hey Benny. Hey John, did you hear that racket? <laughs> oh, what reactions have we got? What's that meant to be? Bashfulness. Oh, okay. I see what he's doing there when I do it. it makes sense. Pushing my hair up. Uh, okay, now we want we want farmer now, don't we? Because we're gonna we're gonna do some farming. Uh, farmer. There we go. And we can hold our watering can, even though we don't actually need it. Right. We'll get some seeds up, people. And tears of laughter. That was really good. <laughs> I'm absolutely trying that tonight. <laughs> and the real slim shade is uh, too right. I've just walked the longest way around my island, by the way, to get back to my house. Clip of you dancing with them needs to be made into a gift. I'm just going to water my letterbox there. Right, I'm just going to um, get myself a quick drink. I'll be right back, folks. Right. Sorry, I completely forgot to see. Na Nicole, do you need Rap God back? Oh, no, not Rap God. <laughs> you need um, KK Metal back. Thanks for the belly laugh. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Bitsek. No, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Seeds. Hi, Dante Joy. Thank you. White wildflowers. Thanks, Andrew. 
Nathan, Red Hyacinths, awesome. Thank you so much. Nikki, just... She's a lady of few words, uh, Nikki. Uh, white Wildflowers, incredible. Thank you. Red Wildflowers, these look great together. Uh, thanks, Nicole. It's all yours. Enjoy, thank you. I imagine you just sit there and do that every night, so... Brooke, thank you. Kenzie, more flowers. My goodness. Uh, Nicole... I should have said just like three people send them. We're going to have so many flowers here. But that's fine. We'll just cover the place in them. They're going to look good, aren't they? So excited for your island. Thank you, Mackenzie. Uh, here's some orange wildflowers for your new vision. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, here's another cushion. Thank you, Sherry. Okay, cool. Right. Lots of flowers. Thank you very much, folks. I appreciate that. We've got plenty now. I think to be moving on with. Oh, we've had something sprout there. Look. A yellow one of those. That's cool. You have some flowers. You got flowers. I know. Too right. That's what Johnsy's going to listen to. He gets to sleep now. <laughs> that's my yeah. Uh, it's my new whale song. Uh, right. Was that last one the cushion? Boo boo. Nice. Nice. We'll put that in there. Beautiful. That looks. That suits that, doesn't it? it looks. Uh, looks more traditional now. I like it. Uh, okay. So these are all uh, flowers. So let's open these all up. Uh, did I just poo that bag out? I really hate it it does that. Why is that one open? And that one is open. I suppose that's the automatic box, right? I like the wrapping paper, though. I think the wrapping paper's cute. Shows you care. Oh, Christ. Just, I just don't know how to open it. Teacher's designer now. Yeah, he'll he'll be singing that later. <laughs> Nicole has given us the best moment stream so far. I completely agree. That's a wildflower. I think we'll go wild, wild little bear. I think we'll go wildflowers up on that uh, mountain then, I think. Imperial Fence DIY, thank you so much. Hyacinths. Um, white hyacinths. So we've got white hyacinths, white wildflowers, white hyacinths, orange wildflowers, yellow hyacinths. So it's hyacinths and wildflowers mostly, which is cool. So I think, yeah, I think uh, I think wildflowers will go with. Um, that can go back into storage, and we'll learn that. Windflowers, windflowers. What am I saying? <laughs> can we add your friend from the Discord? Yes, Jess. I think um, I think my switch code is a, a pinned post in the Discord. So yeah, feel free. Do do. They're still going. They're still singing the rock song as well. <laughs> the metal one. <laughs> Benny, your ledge. Out of the way. Okay. Oh, I know what else I was going to do. Sorry. All the way back. <laughs> something else in spring or something. I don't know Fantastic actually. Oh, I just missed it. <laughs> Uh, I want to make some stones. Three, four, five, six, seven. We can make seven stones. I think we haven't got we haven't got many stone in stock. Although somebody was graceful enough to send me some. Uh, I think we've probably got a couple of stacks. Yeah. Okay. So we'll move those to pockets. There we go. Uh, and see what stones we can make. So yeah, there are there are. I've got a couple of stone recipes now. Actually, I think. Let's have a look. The class is housewares. Yeah. So we've got the stool. We've got that one, Garden Rock. And then there's that one there, Pond Stone. What size? That's a two by a one. Hmm. I don't think we're going to aim focus on that one. I think probably that one is the better way to go. That, uh, 60 stone, that'll give us four of those. 
Yeah. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna we'll make four of those, and we've got one of those in the um in the dig site. That um in stock, sorry, in storage. <laughs> um so I'll take the one that's in the dig site because I don't think it looks that great down there anyway, actually. And these were gonna really help make the area pop, I think. It's in two of each, but I guess it's already anticipated to get. No, Nathan, don't worry about it. It's fine, honestly. I appreciate any any donation. Let's get the more metal outfits to wear. Yeah, like what's that one that looked like a gimp suit that we got the other day? <laughs> uh, okay, and then um, yes, yeah, so we'll take that one out of the out of the thingy. Did you find the squirrel's treats? Uh, it did, Jamie. Yes. No, that was really good fun. I said that earlier on, actually. Uh, I actually found it randomly. And put it in my storage. I was like, oh, somebody's put an icon there. And then later on, I read your letter <laughs> saying there's a squirrel's treat. I was like, ah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I did. It was down here. Um, it was there. It was there on that little outcrop just up in the corner there. Like there. It was. Thanks very much. I'll, I'll pick it up after stream. So. I'm going to do a little... Actually, no, no. We don't need to do this, do we? We're just we're placing down rocks. The problem is here, I reckon, is going to be trying to trying to put them down where there isn't really much uh, not space for that kind of thing. Like we should be able to put one there. I just can't get to that bit now. This is where I want to put one. Cover up from dig site. Yes, I will get back on that one. And there's a full square to put something there. That's no good there, is it? Because nobody will ever see it. And now we are trapped. Oh, we can pick it up there. That's okay. Let's have a look at the placements of those. Okay, so this one here has to rotate. Oh, they're all exactly the same rotation. Nice. Okay. Back over there. Back over there and fix that one then. Johnson's a big old cliff. I know, right? How do I show it last for? I think it's like hours, right? I think I'm pretty sure it's like it'll, they'll last for a while. Okay, so that there can be. Is it higher since? Are they like quite tall ones, right? I work pretty well there. Wind flower, not not uh, not wild flower, like I was saying, like a moron. So obviously, it's going to take a day or two for this to really pop. Do you know what I think might do as well is I might I might even like put a few uh, put a few weeds uh, weeds around here as well. You know, can that look good? I 
I'm back. How's it going? Oh, Fitzy. Fitzy, tell me you saw the concert. Please, please, please tell me you saw the concert. These will look good. Yeah, I think so as well. Just in the gaps, just to kind of fill them out. And and we'll deal with the with the slight uh, drop it'll give us on stuff, you know. I saw the very start of them singing. Did you, did you see them sing, singing the, the rock, the metal song? No, I have to go back and watch it. Well, I'm gonna clip it and put it on Twitch because it was on Twitter because it was it was the greatest thing that's ever happened. <laughs> this is gonna look so good when it's all full. So I make that one weeds. This can be something. Something tall, white hyacinth, sounds good. It can be weeds as well. I mean, I, I know these are really rarely seen up here, but I still think it'll look good for... Some higher since those need to be really, don't they? Quick, 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 quick. Oh, missed it. Right, quick, round to the mute. Oh, I always do that and get stuck here. <laughs> I do that all the time. I need to move that tree because it's so infuriating. That happens all the time. <laughs> Is that playing a song? <laughs> Just as a reminder. Uh, go on then, what was that? 5,000 bells. And one more rock. to go somewhere. Let's put it here in between these flowers. Turn it around. It's just not the same as that one. Cool. I've got a, uh, nowhere near where you are, but thanks to each set, I got a gold single. Yeah, I didn't pop enough of those balloons, man. I, I should have done. Actually, we can't pop them there. We're, uh, we're going to move, we're gonna move uh, thingy up here at some point, aren't we? So last thing then, I'm going to grab some weeds. I, I have a few weeds in um, in storage, I'm sure. 
Are they still going? They've started singing their old song again now. It's not good enough. Looks so neat. Thank you, Caitlin. Oh, is this you want to leave? Sure. Thanks, John T. You're welcome. Yeah, she tried to give me a nickname. I was like, my nickname's John T. You call me John T now. Uh, oh, no, 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 we don't. We do not want that. We just want to... Get our weeds. There we go. 14 weeds. Nice. Move to the pockets. Cool. So, have I aimed to move something today? Oh, yeah. Campsite. I was going to say, should we move a house? But... Can't move houses. Don't stop the work out. John T. Yeah, exactly, right? I wish you could, like, pick, pick the weeds. Because there are some weeds that look lows better. Crappy weeds. Never decent size weeds. <laughs> That's what I want. Uh, I won't bother putting it up there because because obviously these weeds we're putting in here are going to be detrimental to the um, to the island uh, level, right? Don't they only get bigger when they're... Uh, do weeds lower your iron? Right? They do, but like a, a handful like this aren't going to be a problem as long as we pick them up elsewhere, I think. Big change to iron. Yeah, that was, that's the whole thing, really. I've decided we're going to go for true sort of cool fantasy. Oh, hi, little man. Woke up early. Oh, oh dear. Get yeah, nicely. Mm-hmm. A little bit dozy. <gasps> what is it? Yeah. Mm. Is that the man to you? Come got yourself up from a nap, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm What can you see? Oh. What can you oh dear. He's a tired little man. Mwah. Hey, that means that means we're finished. Should we go and have a little cuddle? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna have to leave it there then, folks, because somebody's woken up from his nap a little early. Huh? Oh, you want to put Paw Patrol? Oh, you don't want to cuddle your dad. Can we go and watch some Paw Patrol? All right. Come on then. Yeah, well, sec, though, we might get another 10 minutes ahead of it. Oh, oh. oh no, he, he won't want me with him while he's watching Paw Patrol. He pushes you off when he's watching his cartoons. <laughs> Mighty Pops? Yeah? Come on, then. See if he's just decided to turn itself off. That. That's news. We don't want news on. It's boring. I'm 
hoping that because I can't get a telly on. I'd rather watch Paul Troll and Colors John T. That's not what you said last time, Tom. On this one? That one? Yeah? Okay. I'm going to go in 10 minutes. I'm just going to get this, this finished up while he uh, wakes up and watches that. So. I think once the flowers have popped on all of this, it'll start to look really good. Uh, yeah, let's have a look over there. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. Uh, you got me. I know, I got you. So the next thing to do is move Flora here and, and carve this hill away a little, really. Um, so tomorrow then, tomorrow... We will start on the... F Who are we going to have to move to do the farm? Now, I'll tell you what we'll do then, because we need to move some people to do the bottom left corner, which is going to be the farm. So tomorrow, we will redo the pool into, like, a cool, like, spa kind of area. So at the moment, it's quite a standard pool, really. Um, and But I think this could look so much nicer being built up with fountains coming down it um so anyone's got anything that might look quite good for that kind of thing and you don't need it feel free to send it over um but what i'm thinking is we've got um we've got things like let's have a look what have we got that will go well in there so we've got this for the farm yet yeah, area you see i think that'd be really cool and we've that, that's not crazy amounts of uh, stuff either we've got wells and all sorts of things like that so we've got this fountain I don't know whether another one of those is probably the right idea. I think we're probably better making one out of out of the walls, yeah? Um, bear with me, because it looks like chat has froze again. There we go. Let's catch it up. Yeah, so... Not like, a, like an old-fashioned, like a Roman or a Turkish bar, that kind of feel to it, you know? So, uh, nothing's really jumping out at me at the moment that we've got that we can craft. You know, maybe a couple of these bamboo, like maybe a couple of candle holders. In, you know, that you know, sort of thing I'm thinking. And then I'll try and find like a QR code for a cool tiled floor pattern as well. And we'll do something cool with that. Um, I don't know if I'm trying to send that friend request again again. No, I doubt it. No, no it'd be a few people find us. Um, the grass cutouts look cool there. I don't know. I don't know whether they're... Are they any good? I don't know. That's quite a weird niche thing, that, isn't it? I quite like the green leaf pile. Young spring bamboo and weeds. Right, we're going to need to make some of those up for the forest area, I think. Maybe a couple of those sort of things as well. Yellow mums. They might look good on the ground. Yeah, because this this area here to the to the east of the museum, this area here is just going to become a like a forest with a. So basically, it's going to be a path that comes off the museum that just sort of winds all through the forest here, right? That's uh, that's the idea there. Lots to do. Lots to do. Like columns. Yeah, yeah, columns. Yoga mats not really because they're gonna be they're gonna be a bit too modern, you know. We're trying to go for like an older build. Like I think we might get away with these. Look, because they're they're pretty plain. But like, um, I tell you what, I what I am gonna make up a lot of uh, is these pots and pitchers because though because even though that one looks like a money pot, in fact, I'll go and show a, a honey pot. Excuse me, I'll go and show you. Let's just get back to um Let's get back to normal. Now we're done now we're done planting. There we go. Um That was a balloon over there, look. Do, 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 do. 
like Greek style pool, spa kind of thing. Think, yeah, columns, fountains, pots, clay, you know. So the good thing about those pots, a lot of people don't realize this, is that you can you can customize them. Um, even though it's obvious, it's pretty obvious a lot of the furniture can be customized. Those pots can be, and they have some really awesome designs. So not necessarily related, but has anyone played Layton's Mystery Journey? No, is that a Professor Layton's game? Nicola used to love those. Should I craft something? Let's craft. Uh, so like a classic picture. Let's do it. Paintbrush on the eyes, you can customize them. that's right, yeah. People just don't maybe just don't think that you can. So let's come out of there then, and they'll go back in to customize. And then both of these have really awesome customization options. So we've got brown pop with this white one look, black, beige, grey. All awesome. And the picture again, lots of different ones there. Simple, sky blue, yellow, amber, fruits. Artist, how good's that? So I think we can make a few of each of these up, and they'll be good for both one of the stores in the bazaar that we're looking at doing, but then also these are be these are the sort of things you would find around the uh, around a, a spa, you know, like they, they could fill with hot water and stuff. So I'm going to do that beige one there, I think. Um, the two pictures of the white outside the museum. Yeah, that's the type of thing. They look really cool, don't they? Um, I think so. And then we'll make that picture to be I think that yellow ambers. And the fruits are both pretty good for this. There we go. Pull off awesome. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, we got a thingy for that as well. John T. Even. <laughs> uh, when you open the island again, I missed it last time and I've got stuff I'd love to send. Thank you. Um, probably um, not tonight. We're out We're out and about tonight looking at a house. Um, so maybe tomorrow when I get home. When, I, when, we're, when I'm done tomorrow streaming, I'll probably do it. But I, I would normally open it up now for a bit. I think that's probably the best time to do it. But I've got to do a little bit of washing up and tidying up and prepping some dinner and, and, and other bits and bobs. So uh, I won't open it up now, unfortunately. Still going, they're still going. So I do like this terracotta, but I think I could probably find um, something a little better. But yeah, just uh, just to give you an idea of the kind of look we're going for, right? There we go. Yeah, the terracotta kind of works, but I just I do wonder if there's something that might just go a little bit further to the edge. Because um, if we just very quickly look here, he's, he's sat watching that. He's no, he's no problem. We need to start look here on the on the island designer. You're always going to have that level of uh, green right at the edge. Uh, Charles getting in the way. I know, right? I don't know how something. Thank you. I'm going to say we've got about three to look at over the next week. Hopefully, one of them. It's more the fact that one of them accepts us. Really, we we quite like all of them. Really, but you know. Whether or not they, they think we're going to be good tenants, I suppose. Um, so if I just put grass for a second, get rid of the square there, okay, and then put down a custom one that's a full that's a full square. So like this G, for instance, put that down. You see how closer it goes to the edge uh, than the path. So that's why I think we need to find a QR code for some good. Like, nice, yeah, it's pulled out. Get sure, that sounds good, <laughs> but I do think, um, did you just say crafting some dinner? Yeah, I need, I need three pieces of stone and an iron nugget for dinner. Um, so I think we need to try and find like a nice terracotta style stone pattern that we can use here that gives a nice trim on the pool and stuff, you know. Um, and I mean, this thing here is kind of nice, it's not, it's not really the right color, but if this was, if this was editable, um. That'd be that'd be pretty sweet, I think. How do I pick it up? There we go. I don't I don't think it's editable. Is there, is there any way of knowing without just trying to customize it? I don't think there is. Is there? Hot spring. So a bit of grass makes sense. Yeah, maybe. It depends on on the sort of stuff we can get hold of, really. 
You should put that on a shirt in the store for when people come to visit. Unfortunately, they don't. Ca you can't uh, transfer them like that. Unfortunately, um, if I if I put it if I put it available, they can't. Oh, I could put it on the QR code thing though. I think maybe I don't know. I've still got to look into that sort of thing. Let's customize something. Yeah, no, that's not customizable, unfortunately. But that 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 was kind of nice. Um, uh, if I buy a game on instant games, it goes straight to Nintendo. So basically, instant gaming will give you a code. So it's available on the website, or they'll email and they email at you as well. And then all you do is you go you go down to here and you go to eShop. And then when you're in the eShop, uh, you go to here, enter code, and you just type it in there. Simple as that. I did it with Animal Crossing. Uh, I've done it a few times with I don't run that many Nintendo games. I did it with uh, Super Hospital. That was a code they give me. But I did it with Link's Awakening actually as well. They had those. Uh, that was it. Yeah. Uh, cool. Right, I'm going to leave it there then. I'm going to go and get Anzander a snack and do some cleaning up and stuff. And we'll see how we get on. Okay. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I really enjoyed myself today. We, I think we've done some good work up here, and those guys singing before was hilarious. Um, but I think this is this is definitely the way the way we go forward now. I can't wait to see all these flowers popping. Whoa! Really, what happened? The robot stuck. Oh, the robot stuck and broke, folks. I'm afraid I've got to go and deal with the fact that the robot is stuck and broke. Daddy, fix it. Daddy's going to go and fix Paw Patrol's robot. Have a great day, folks. I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, be good.